Hello everyone, my name is Infinity and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course the law of attraction. Today we're going to be talking about chakra blockages and specifically how they affect what's manifesting in our lives and most importantly, how we can clear these blockages and start manifesting our dreams faster than ever. But before I get into the video, guys, I am so incredibly excited because I spent hours today creating the perfect subliminal meditation and affirmations tracks designed to help you clear every single one of your chakras in a single 20 minute meditation track. This is something I created because I have been looking for something like this. For those of you who aren't familiar with subliminals or the subliminals that I personally create, this track contains powerful frequencies known as binaural beats Every chakra, every energy center in our body corresponds to a particular frequency or actually several frequencies. So the idea with this track I've created is that it goes through and plays a couple minutes of each of the frequencies corresponding to a chakra in your body. And as you listen, you will literally be able to feel especially for those of you who are empathic and sensitive to energy, you'll be able to feel the frequencies affecting that particular energy center in your body. You may feel a kind of um, a little bit of a buzzing sensation or tingling sensation. Um, but anyway, so you will feel this kind of this kind of energetic feeling. And what that's telling you is that by listening to this frequency, you're actually clearing out the particular chakra. At the same time, to supercharge these frequencies, I've also embedded within them powerful subliminal affirmations. And as we know on this channel, subliminal affirmations are affirmations spoken at a low volume. So your conscious mind actually can't hear them, but because of this, they are capable of being deeply implanted on your subconscious. And this particular track has over 100 subliminals for every single chakra in the body. So just listening to this for even 20 minutes a day is going to help you experience a total mind, body, soul, energetic cleanse. And again, I will get into more information later on the details of how you know whether you're blocked to begin with and what it means for you. But if you'd like to go ahead and learn more about the subliminal for chakra clearing, all of that information will be in the description box. You can sign up for a seven day free trial and try out this and every one of my subliminals completely free for seven days. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested. And now let's get into a little more information on what chakras are to begin with. So as I said, a chakra is an energy center within our body. Our physical body is much more than the physical appearance we see in the mirror. There are several layers to our being, many of which are completely invisible to the human eye and energetic in nature. So these energy centers in our body, when open and when functioning properly, will allow energy to flow through our entire being and even expand outward and affect the world around us. When we have clear chakras, when we are free of chakra blockages, we feel light, we feel happy, we feel secure and free, wide open to love and inspiration and creativity. That's the way we were born to be, destined to be. 
and that's how we were born into this world. The reason that we most often experience chakra blockages is because although we were born with completely open energy centers, completely open chakras, over time through our childhood and into our teen years and early adulthood, we were programmed, programmed to believe certain negative thoughts about ourself, our life, our potential. Many of these thoughts were things that we heard said, sometimes even before we were able to speak, sometimes even earlier than we may have a memory of or a recollection of. So these blockages begin forming when we're very young. And it's very rare for someone to not have any blockages at all. In fact, I would say impossible for someone to constantly, forever maintain the state of completely open chakras because we live in a world where we are naturally exposed to negative thoughts and ideas. And some of these ideas are bound to be absorbed into our mind and then as a result resulting in the formation of blockages in our chakras the problem arises when these blockages become so major so dominant in that area of our body that it begins to manifest negative things in our life and prevent the things we want most from happening. So for example, let's say you have a blockage in your heart chakra. This could manifest in many different negative ways in your life, but one way is you may feel extremely insecure and unloved in your relationships. You may feel as if no matter what you do, you always attract negative friends, negative, unsupportive partners. You really struggle to experience love in your life. That would be an indication of a heart chakra blockage. Now, there are different signs for every single one of the seven chakras that you could be experiencing a blockage within. So it would take probably a whole series of individual videos on each individual chakra to be able to really do this subject justice. So when I talk about how to know whether you have chakra blockages, for the sake of not having this video be hours long, I'm going to just stick to the basics here. I'm going to talk in general terms about some of the general feelings that are absolute indications that you're experiencing some kind of blockage in one or more of your chakras. So one of the major things that you will experience if you're experiencing a chakra blockage is fatigue. The reason you will feel fatigued is because energy is constantly moving through your body and it is intended to just flow, to flow through every area of your body to circulate. But when you have a blockage, your body has to work a lot harder to flow this energy. Therefore, you will manifest this blockage in the form of feelings of extreme fatigue or exhaustion. Just not being able to get out of bed in the morning only wanting to sleep all the time, chronically feeling tired and having no idea why. Another sign of chakra blockages is kind of hand in hand with the first sign, which is a general lack of motivation. A lack of motivation means you're feeling uninspired. And when you're feeling uninspired, it means there is a blockage in one of your chakras that is cutting you off from the divine, inspiring, and creative energy that is constantly flowing to you from the universe. You were born to be creative. 
You were born to feel naturally motivated to take action toward your dreams. And if you are lacking this sense of motivation, it's probably because you're experiencing some kind of a chakra blockage. Sign number three of a chakra blockage would be you're having trouble manifesting that one specific thing into your life and you've tried everything. As we know, we are powerful, limitless, creative beings. According to the law of attraction, we can be, do, or have absolutely anything. The problem arises when we have one of these blockages It means that we have negative thoughts that are so deeply implanted in our subconscious mind and so negatively impacting that energy center in our body that we're unable to flow our limitless creative power in that one area of our life. So for example, you may be having trouble manifesting money. I'm talking After months and years of trying to actively manifest money, you find these recurring negative thoughts around finances coming up over and over. Again, this chakra blockage is coming from negative thoughts, most likely thoughts you're completely unconscious about. That's why I so often recommend listening to subliminals to clear away these negative thought patterns in the subconscious and replace them with powerful, positive thoughts that will transform your energy, clear out these resistant patterns, and allow you to manifest anything you desire in life. Again, I've created a library of over 100 subliminals You can try out any and all of these tracks completely free for seven days. I believe in them so much that I offer this seven day free trial to everyone because nearly everyone that consistently listens to a subliminal for seven days really begins to feel an energetic shift, a shift within their mind and their frequency. And sometimes you can even begin to see early manifestations of the thing you're trying to create in your life. So again, check out the description box for more information on that. Now, what would be sign number four of a chakra blockage? So the opposite of not being able to manifest something you want is you may find yourself perpetually manifesting something that you don't want. It may almost feel as if you're cursed. You're not actually cursed. You're just replaying your same energetic patterns over and over. Every time your body tries to flow energy towards something you want, it essentially bounces off of this energetic wall, this chakra blockage. And instead of getting what you want, you get more of that same negative thing that you don't want. So for example, you absolutely are experiencing a chakra blockage if you find yourself experiencing the same negative patterns in your love relationships over and over. So if you find yourself perpetually feeling jealous and insecure, no matter how hard you try to meditate and affirm to yourself and change your actions, you can know that the reason you're experiencing these feelings isn't because you're unworthy of love, isn't because there's something wrong with you. It's because there is literally an energetic wall inside of you, a wall metaphorically around your heart that is preventing you from experiencing the kind of deep, fulfilling love you came here to experience. A fifth way to know that you have a chakra blockage is if you find yourself experiencing unexplained illnesses. Now, of course, I have to say, when I say this, I am not a doctor. You should absolutely consult your doctor first if you're experiencing any kind of illness. But 
If you've been to a doctor about whatever illness you're experiencing and they say that everything checks out with you, that they don't know what it is, it's totally unexplained. A lot of times the reason we experience this physical pain or discomfort in the form of an illness or a sickness or chronic pain in our body is because Once again, the energy is trying to flow through our being, but it's coming up against these walls and every time the energy hits that particular wall, it experiences physical tension, physical pain. So this could be anything from an actual sickness to something as seemingly small as a muscle tension. For me personally, I know that when I'm experiencing certain chakra blockages, I will also experience back pain or neck pain or shoulder pain or simply like excess tension in those areas of my body. For example, when I was young, I had very, very dominant throat chakra blockages, meaning I really struggled to speak my truth. I struggled to express myself because I was trained from a young age to believe that I had to conform to the ideas of others. And so I did, and I betrayed my own self, my own heart's truth for what others wanted me to be and say and believe. And these blockages in my throat chakra actually caused me to have extremely poor posture because I was experiencing a lot of neck, upper back, and shoulder tension all the time. So you may find that whenever you're experiencing a particular chakra blockage, nearby in that area of the body, you may also be experiencing some type of pain or muscle tension. I hope these chakra blockage signs were helpful for you. Like I said throughout this video, if you are experiencing a chakra blockage, first of all, it's not your fault. In fact, nearly everyone has blockages, at least to some extent. We're all just learning, growing, expanding beings, learning to improve our energetic bodies and ourselves every day. However, there are many powerful tools you can use to clear out this resistance, to clear these blockages. And when you do clear them, you will find yourself feeling lighter, more free, happier, more positive-minded and motivated just naturally. My favorite way to clear chakra blockages is through the use of subliminals. The reason I love subliminals so much is well for a couple reasons one and probably first and foremost because they are so easy to use you can listen to subliminals while you sleep while you go about your day or while you meditate and the second reason that i like them so much is because they really tackle different different components of your energy because all of the subliminals I've created not only include powerful unconscious affirmations, but they also include binaural beat frequencies. And like I said, in the case of the subliminal I created for chakra clearing, it includes seven powerful binaural beat frequencies. And each of these frequencies resonates with a particular chakra, a particular energetic center in the body. So I hope you'll take a minute to check out the subliminal I created, learn more about it by following the link in the description box. If I resonated with you, please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to hear me talk about on this channel. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again in the next podcast.